My son wanted success, and it was unfortunate that he was never able to define what that meant for him. One of the things that I used to tell him when he would repeat offend was, don't you understand that there's no right way to do a wrong thing? My name is Lisa Daniels, and I am the mother of Darren B. Easterling, who was murdered in the south suburbs of Chicago in July of 2012. Darren's murder was a robbery that was disguised as a drug deal. They agreed to meet with the intention on robbing the other. They were both trying to figure out a right way to do a wrong thing, and then nobody won. Nobody won. The day after Darren was murdered, I read a newspaper article that read, man in Park Forest shot to death had felony and drug convictions. It wasn't until the second paragraph where they actually referred to my child by his name. They minimized his entire life, his entire 25 years to one sentence. They dehumanized him. He was still a father, a brother, a son. His death left a void. Before the trial, I remember the assistant state's attorney saying to me, I just want you to have closure. And I said to her, you just want to win. And let's just be clear, I'm not looking for closure. It's closed. There's, There was nothing else for me to gain. There was only for me to pick up the pieces that were left and to move on. I had learned of this process called restorative justice, and I had never heard of it before. I heard about it on a news program, and I thought those two things make perfect sense. Restore and justice, they, they go together. The person that shot Darren, his name is Michael Reed. When it was time for the hearing, it just made sense for me to be there and to be in support of Darren, but also in support of Michael. I asked the court understand the grief that my family and I were experiencing and that there was a loss. But I also understood that nothing that we could do or say in that moment was going to change what had happened. My son was never coming back. But there was still life left in Michael Reed. It could have easily gone the other way around. And Darren would have been sitting in that courtroom looking at a lot more time than 15 years. I would have wanted somebody to see the humanity in my child and not villainize him simply because he made some really, really bad choices. So that's what I took the opportunity to do for Michael in front of his mother and his family. I asked the judge to show leniency, and he did. He reduced it by 50%, and he considered the four years already served. So he had three years remaining. Michael Reed turned around and looked at me and he said, thank you. Yeah, he said, thank you. 